Did you go to him and say, the parties have got to stop? You've got to get rid of these sexual abusers? Of, of course, I've had disagreements with the Prime Minister in private over the course of my time in office. Is Boris Johnson honest? Uh, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> Even when you said you might like to be leader one day, you didn't call for him to go. I think I made it very clear, very early. Well, you hinted. No, I don't think I hinted. When did you stand up for integrity and honesty? When did you tell Boris Johnson he was wrong and he had to go? I'm a loyal person. I stood by Boris Johnson. Do you support, do you trust all the other candidates to be prime minister? We're here to win an <laughs> Well, you're not election. saying you do trust them. We, know, we, all, we all know that. Why should the public trust any of you? I have been somebody in government who has said I will deliver things, often things that people said were impossible, uh, for example, the trade deals after we left the EU, people said it would be difficult to get as good a deal as we did. I secured deals with Japan, with Australia. I delivered what I said I would deliver. When so did you stand up for integrity and honesty? When did you tell Boris Johnson he was wrong and he had to go? I'm a loyal person. I stood by Boris Johnson. Of course, I raised issues with him in private. Tom Tugendhat, why should they trust you? Trust in politics has been collapsing. Trust in our party has been collapsing, let's be frank. We all know that we need a clean start and many people are asking the right questions on this. But I swore loyalty to our country and that's where I will always owe my loyalty. Rishi Sunak, why should they trust you when you were the second most powerful person in the country? When did you ever stand up to him about the Covid parties or Chris Pincher being Deputy Chief Whip? Prasant, I always tried to give the Prime Minister the benefit of the doubt and that became increasingly hard. I got to a point recently where enough was enough. Did you go to him and say, the parties have got to stop? You've got to get rid of these sexual abusers? Of, of course, I've had disagreements with the Prime Minister in private over the course of my time in office. But what I would say is, I'm not going to walk away from everything that the Prime Minister and this government has done over the past few years. Kemi Badenoch, you, you are probably the least well-known of the candidates. Wouldn't the thing that would restore trust were you to win be for you to call a general election? and say, trust me, because they don't know who you are. Uh, that is not the way that I would go. Uh, no one would know who I was, you say, but then I wouldn't have any time to show who I was. Why you can trust me is because I have spoken truth to power. Um, I had the opportunity to serve uh, at a higher office in this government, uh, and my answer to the Prime Minister was longer than the traditional one. One question, yes or no, is Boris Johnson honest? Sometimes. <laughs> is Boris Johnson honest? He is somebody who uh, has Just had yes or no extremely... Will do. No, I, I'm not doing a yes or no, because I think we, it, would be wrong to, it would be wrong to do that. There were a number of reasons that I resigned, yeah. but trust and honesty was part of that. Liz Truss, is he honest? He has been very clear himself that he made mistakes in government. Is Boris no. Johnson an honest man? What will you do to make a clean break with Boris Johnson? Penny Mordaunt. Well, I think we all stood together on a manifesto that we've yet to deliver. And I think that actually part of restoring trust is to deliver on that manifesto. I would appoint people because they were talented, uh, not because they were loyal. I would trust even the people who uh, did not support me to work with me because we're all on the same team. The first thing I'm going to do is run. That's why I'm here, because we need a break. We need a break from you know, the government of the past. We need a break from those who sat around the table. The first is to be honest. And as Kemi said, you can't have your cake and eat it. And when it comes to the economy, we've got some challenges ahead. I'll get that.